Speech generating devices are devices that allow you to push buttons and have recorded messages spoken out loud. The speech generating devices are programmed with either pictures, symbols, letters, words, and the child can then push the button and hear that message. It may be a word or it may be a longer message. Speech generating devices can be divided into digitized or synthesized speech. Digitized would be messages that are recorded with your voice, and synthesized speech would be computer generated speech. You have green! Green, green! I want green! What does a skunk do when it is angry? What does he do? It raises a stick. <gasps> oh what my does goodness. a skunk do when it is angry? <gasps> One type of speech generating device would be a static or a fixed display, which means that you make overlays with picture symbols or words or letters that have to be manually put in and out of the device to be used. Can you see the picture of bubbles? Bubbles! Yay! Here we go! Ready? <gasps> Jimmy, what do you think? Should we make a big one? Big bubbles. Or a little one. A little bubble. <laughs> Speech generating devices can also include dynamic devices, which are very similar to a touch screen computer, where you would touch the screen of the device that would be divided into buttons, and then it would switch pages or screens. So you would navigate through a series of pages or screens to get different messages. Can you clear he? Okay. Go back here. He, him, his. That's right. Okay. Can you say it and see if you think it sounds okay? Push your top button. The castle. He was on the playground. Next, Harry Potter's dog ran away from him. To use a dynamic display speech generating device, usually you have to be able to um, understand categories. So you might have a main page that would have buttons like drinks, food, colors. You would then push a button, I want something to eat, and it would switch to a page where you'd have choices for food. Same thing, if you were doing an art project, you might have a color page where they would choose the color of paint or markers they're using, and then it would open up to a new screen of color choices. To determine which kind of speech generating device would be best for someone, you really should have a comprehensive speech evaluation. Um, a lot of times it should include a speech language pathologist and an occupational therapist so you can kind of figure out what the needs of the patient is. You want to um, make sure that you have language components that are appropriate for that child and you also want to make sure the access method or that the way they're activating the buttons would be appropriate to that person as well. Pick. 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 Pick.
Check. 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 Check.